Hi, this is Paul. Welcome to another short video about another useful Google Chrome extension called Awesome Screenshot. Now, I've pulled up a website here just randomly, SEMrush, because it goes beyond the fold. It's a long page down to here. Um, now, quite often, if you're working with designers and so forth, you might want to you might want to capture the image of something and mark it up to provide feedback. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the Awesome Screenshot button. I'm going to capture the entire page. So as you can see, it's opened a new browser tab here. And what I've got here is not the website, but an image of the website. So now I can mark this up. Um, let's say there's some confidential information on the page, such as a password or other information that I don't really want people to see. So what I would do there is I click the blur icon and I would just blur like that. OK, uh, if I wanted to add text, open a box there. So I could give some feedback, say, please change to green text or whatever. And I can't spell green. I can't spell please. Let's do that. Uh, I'll put an arrow in there to make it obvious what I'm talking about. So the arrow is that one there. And I can put a rectangle around it so that people know what I'm talking about. So you can change the width of the line. So if I wanted a thick line, I can do that. If I want a thinner line, select a thinner line, thinner rectangles. Um, obviously, I can change the color of the things on the screen. So let's do a green rectangle down there. So that's quite useful. Um, you can use the drawing pen. So if you want to do a squiggly line, I think my browser's not keeping up very well here because of the video, because I'm recording the screen, and um, that tends to slow things down because video is quite intensive uh, in terms of resource usage. Now, the little boxes here, you can't access those for free because there are, is a paid for plan which allows you to use those features, but all the other ones, they're part of the free, pa free plan. Um, so you can crop images. So if I wanted to crop this, I could just crop it down. So I've just got that part selected. So I would just save that part of the image. I'm going to hit Escape to clear that. Sorry, click Cancel. Escape doesn't work. Um, and then you can set the size of the image. So cropping is one way of doing it manually. But if you wanted to actually set the size of this image, you can already see the default size is 1920 pixels wide by 4666 deep. But you could change that there and resize it. If you keep the proportional tick, that maintains the aspect ratio, so you don't get any strange, squashy appearances. Um, if you don't want to use it, you can throw it away. You've got redo and undo, as you have with most uh, Windows applications. So at the end, here we go. I've created my feedback for my developer. So I click Done. And here, I can either upload it to the website and just send a link to the person rather than having to sell, send the whole image. Now, that's really efficient because um, you're not having to sort of send a big email or a big attachment, which can slow slow things down. You can just send them a link, and they can go straight to the image. Or um, you can save it to your Google Drive, which you could do here. Um, you could just download it as an image, download it as a PDF. So let's do that. Download as PDF. I'm just going to move myself out of the way there. So you can see here, it's just allowed me to um, save that as a PDF file, which I don't want to do. So I'm just going to press cancel. Um, you could print it to your printer, or you could just copy it, and it puts it on your clipboard, and then you can just paste it straight into a Word document or something like that. So there you have it. That's awesome screenshot, a really good utility for providing feedback to anyone else that you're working with online to mark up documents, images, web pages, um, to show them how you want things changed. So I hope you found that useful. Thank you.